Well, this video is going to talk about how to add an hour meter to a Furman 1682 from Costco, which I believe is the exact same thing as the 1700, 1700 watt Furman that's sold at 17 watts peak. When you look in the manual, they both cut off at 17, like 24. Anyway, um, Galvin's, I think it's garage website, shows how to make this watt meter, which I made. It works fantastic. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but he has a how-to video. The only thing is I saw another video where they recommended putting this down lower so you have more room for your connections inside there so it wouldn't on the back side of the meter. But I plug that into this and then i'll be plugging it into my house and i also have a one into three connection that i will use if i'm powering out in the field or bar letting someone borrow it to power up their fridges at their house anyway so i'll take the cover off which is on the other side and the meter's gonna go inside because as you check the oil you can just cross check the meter and that way i'm not voiding any warranties by screwing holes in the uh case. I already have two hours on this estimated. I'm hoping the meter will make it more accurate. It's too bad they don't include a uh, power meter to start with. The, way the first thing is you have to wrap this around the spark plug lead right here six times. It's pretty hard to do, I mean, space-wise. So I ran the cable, did my six turns there, secured on both sides with tie wrap. It's loose up here so I have enough room to take the spark plug out. And you don't want the wire touching metal. It's run behind here. I secured it to the uh, oil rebreather and it's going to mount right here. I know this isn't convenient if you want to know your hours instantly you have to take the cover off but I still think it's, it's better than nothing and it's pretty clean install. You have to push this in. I did another and saw my other. I'm going to run two of these in parallel to power my house. And I'm going from uh, this L14. I'll be going in that into a dog bone that converts each leg to one. It just splits it to 120 on both legs of my 240. I'm not going to be running any air conditioners in the house. It'll power everything else, though, I think, in my house just fine. So you just slip this in and the idea here is I'm just going to put that on this to hold it in place. I'm sure people have done that before, but it seems to work. I just push it up, tighten it. And these are flush uh, cut cutters, I guess. And they uh, help keep you from cutting your fingers if you're in here messing around. Use them on my car when I do car work.
Okay. Cut this off. All done. Put the cover back on. I'll show a test start. Well, I'm going to leave the cover off until I'm sure this is flashing. So this little light right um, indicator will flash once you start it up. And then in six minutes, it'll increment by one. So basically, it's run along here. It's tie wrapped. And it got the six turns right there. Unfortunately, this had a protector on over the rubber hose, I mean rubber uh, insulator for the spark plug lead. I may have to redo this if this does, doesn't advance. Okay, get ready to start it up. Just added some fuel to it. This hasn't been run in about four months. A uh, little tip is open the fuel cutoff. This is nice that the generator has fuel cut off. Um, make sure you're not in eco mode. And I usually give it a minute or two. You also have to open this valve on the top, which is a vent, and uh, make sure everything's tight. So, pull the choke, fuel on, one pull. Okay, so now I've hooked up the generators in parallel. And I got, I just put a red tag on the one wire. I like that, keep them in the same slot on both generators. Anyway, I'm gonna put a 1500 watt load on it and go through the uh, watt meter here and see what happens. So, uh, and you'll see the green lights turn on. So what happens is you start one generator and then you wait until the light turns on and then you start the next generator. So I got a green light on the first one. We're going to go green light.
I just got through showing you all how to uh, parallel the generator and also put an hour meter in the generator. Uh, now I'm going to show you real quick how I power the house. Uh, I have a sub panel in my garage which is all 120. Of course it has two legs. Uh, about 20 circuits and it's what it is I rerouted the 70 amp breaker that it's on on the outside of the house into a transfer switch so it works like those reliance uh, transfer switches that have like six circuits maybe eight circuits where you flip it to off and then to line or to generator um, this just does the whole house and I was able to successfully um, run the house during the freeze we had it in Texas a couple of weeks ago um, both heaters I'm on natural gas so both heaters running at the same time pulling about 2,000 watts and the uh, even coffee maker I uh, had to run the microwave I had to just make sure the heaters weren't running at the time um, it would be nice to have more than 3,000 watts but it's plenty and I'm energizing both circuits with a dog bone that splits to 120 into two legs. This is the outside panel. Um, we got the main panel and obviously the inlet for the uh, generator. And it's routed into the transfer switch. And I'll open that up. And all this is really doing is it's switching when I flip this over it, it pulls both breakers so it meets code I, I pulled the building permit for this and, and put it all in um, so it's guaranteed to turn off the line power and that sort of thing obviously if you've been doing any research on this and um, trying to hook up to your house anyway, this is the inside of the transfer switch And the 70 amp is brought in from the 70 amp breaker in the main panel. It's 100 amps out here, but it's the 70 is going to trip first in the main breaker. Outside panel is basically just do 40 connections. You know, your, your dryer ovens, uh, AC units. Now, of course, my generators won't run an AC unit, but it's not even wired to this panel. So when this switch is what the sub panel is on. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all that and um, hope you enjoyed the video.